went to a Land of Delight natural farm in Plant City. It's about an hour away from us. And um, I wanted to show Jeffrey the aquaponics. They do an aquaponics class every Saturday. It was interesting. Yeah, so there's a lot of really great things about aquaponics, including the fact that it's completely like self-contained. Like, it's a full ecosystem, feeds itself, and you don't have to add anything. Um, so that's really cool. But other they than, also... Other than feeding the fish occasionally. Well, yes, but you can grow your own fish food too. Correct. So it, it all is closed. It's a closed system. But I also love that they have a little petting farm for kids. They have now, new, since the last time I was there, they have a cut, a cut flowers garden. Um, they have more in the way of you pick. You can pick some of your own veggies. They have a little farmer's market. Um, everything's just really cute. It's, they, the family lives there. They're only open on Saturdays. And they have like, what, five acres? I don't know how many acres they have. I didn't hear that. I'd say it's but, between five and ten. Yeah, but when was the last time? I mean, if what we if what we saw was what they had, mm -hmm. yeah, probably five acres. Right. And they but there's so many little other properties that butt right up to it, and they have the same animals that the farm had, so mm -hmm. it's kind of deceitful on how much property they have. Yeah. Looks like a deceptive. lot. Kind of like us. Yeah. Deceptive. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not a... <laughs> they weren't trying to lie to us about the amount of property they <laughs> Correct. had. Correct. <laughs> Correct. I speak English, but I don't know... Yeah, it's anything good. about the English language. It's fine. It's like us. We are nestled into a 60-acre orange grove. So, so it's deceptive. It looks like we deceptive. have more land than we have. We only have one acre. But all that behind us, look at that. Doesn't that yeah. just look like prime location for a yeah. garden? Yeah. Yeah. But look at this lonely little thing right over there. Oh, it just wants to go so bad. <laughs> There'll be time for that. I just need you to get the rose in the ground for me. Anyway, so we recommend a Land of Delight natural farm, and um, it, we're going to show you a bunch of little clips um, showing the different areas that we enjoyed today, and um, check them out. They're in Plant City, a Land of Delight natural farm. And don't forget to subs subscribe for future adventures with the Albritons. This is when you first walk in. We park kind of out behind their house. And then when you walk up, these are the first animals to greet you. You have chickens and geese. To our right there are the goat pens that we didn't even notice right away. We got pretty distracted by the geese that were climbing under the fences there. I mean, just all the animals make the kids smile so much. And one of my favorite things about a Land of Delight natural farm is it is volunteer run. And so there are volunteers ready to greet you. Um, and welcome you in and tell you all the things you're allowed to do like pet the animals and try little leaves that are edible off different trees and berries and things um, and they just welcome you in and make you feel at home and invited so here we were really excited because we could hear that turkey goblin and all the animal sounds um, I was really surprised it did not smell like they do a good job with their mulching here and um, it was, I mean, just really fresh and um, not overwhelming in any way um, for it being a backyard farm. I thought it was very pleasant. And um, we were really just happy to see these little pigs. The kids asked for all of these animals, goats and pigs and chickens and geese. They're like, we want it all. It was really sweet. And this guy here, he was showing off. Jeffrey, being the outdoorsman that he is, obviously had to have a conversation here with this guy. And um, I was just so impressed. It was such a beautiful bird and um, quite fun to watch him drum and strut. Just absolutely impressive. We were eager to see all of the animals today. I had r reminded the kids of the time we went about a year ago and they were looking forward to seeing all the animals again. And are these not the cutest baby goats you have seen? When we first walked to the goat pens, no volunteers were around so the kids were a little disappointed thinking they wouldn't get to hold them, but that quickly turned around. 
Um, like I said, these volunteers make you feel so welcome and they came over and let the kids hold the goats. These animals were all really sweet. The kids got to try to pet many of them. We reminded them if it has a mouth, it can nibble. And um, so we enjoyed looking at everything. And these chickens over here, the chickens are in there with the geese. They were dusting like I had never seen before. I mean, just rolling themselves in the dirt. It was fun to watch. This is the cut flower garden. This was new since the last time I'd been here. And this is the aquaponics um, big setup. They have another smaller greenhouse with a class going on, but this is the big setup. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more adventures.